we're going to explain how to create panel B. Go to the Create button at the top left of your screen. Choose Document. Give the document a name. In this case, give it your name, USB Lantern. I'm going to call mine Bill. Click OK. This now loads Bill into the workspace. Now what we need to do is draw a new sketch on the front datum plane. Go up to your menus at the top here. You can press Shift and S or click on the Sketch button with the left mouse button. Click on the front datum plane, like so. And then click on the cube and click on Front. So you look at it in 2D. I'm now going to choose the Rectangle tool. With the Rectangle tool, we're going to draw a rectangle across these four lines, the, two, the vertical and the horizontal. So click once, click again to finish. We're then going to press D on the keyboard or go to the menu at the top here to choose dimension. I'm going to dimension this line by clicking on it once, left mouse click and change that measurement to be 72. This will update the size. We're then going to repeat that process for the left hand side of your work. This measurement is 160. Lastly, it's just a nice idea to get everything fitted to the middle. So I'm going to select the circle in the middle and I'm going to select the top line and drag that out. I'm going to change that to 80, half of 160. And again, I'm going to click on that circle, click on the side line and drag out and change that to 36 half of 72. That's the first part of getting our panel correct. The second thing then we need to do is start to take away small sections. To do that we're going to use the corner rectangle tool again. The first one that we're going to do is we're going to remove part of the sides of our work. So again to do this we're going to click at the top left corner here and drag down and actually we want to drag down to 80 exactly in the middle and click once and then we want to repeat that same process on the opposite side like so. We want to choose the dimension tool and what we want to do is dimension the distance between this line and this line. And it should be six millimeters. So we click on one, we click on the other, we drag up and place our measurement. In this case, we want this to be six. And we repeat on the opposite side. We know that it's 80 in length because our work is actually exactly in the middle. We're going to do the same on the bottom now, but we're going to do cuts up. These are slots to allow the panels to slot together. Again, to do this, we choose a corner rectangle. And just to begin with, we just want to draw two rectangles like so. What we need to do is make sure that these two rectangles are same height and the same width. So first of all we're going to get this line and measure it from here. So we click on that line once but what you see is what I haven't done correctly is to select the dimension tool and I'm now drawing an extra line that I don't want. If I click escape that removes that. Let's press D on our keyboard or go to our dimension tool. Let's click once Click again and place our measurement. And we want to change this to be 6.5 millimeters. We want to do the same on the opposite side. Click once, click again, place the measurement 
and change to be 6.5. Next, we want a thickness of our slot. And in this instance, we want our slot to be 3.5 millimeters thick. In order to do that, click once on the left-hand side one, once on the opposite side. Let's drag it down and let's change that to be 3.5. And let's repeat on the opposite side and 3.5. And then lastly, what we need to ensure that we do is get the height of our slots correct. So we're going to measure from the bottom, this line here, and we're going to measure from the top of the slot. We're going to click once and place that measurement, and we're going to choose 40. Repeat again, from the top this time, from the bottom, place the measurement to be 40. Now we've got our starting point, we're going to accept our sketch by clicking the green tick. Let's spin our work around by holding the my right mouse button down, spinning our work and let's just zoom in a little bit to make life easier. Then we're going to go up to our menu and our features and choose extrude or shift and E. What we now need to do is pick the area that we wish to extrude. In this case, I'm going to pick the middle of my work. And as you can see, now allows me to make that part and give it a thickness. We're going to change our thickness in this case to be 3.5, the thickness of the plywood. And we're going to choose accept. So now we have our starting part for panel B. Our window cut out onto our panel B design. To do this, click on sketch. And what we need to do is select this face. So left mouse click. In here, it should tell us the face of extrude one. Now choose front face from our little cube to look at it in 2D. We now need to go and get our corner rectangle and draw a rectangle inside your work, something like what you see on my screen now. We we'll press D for dimension, and what we need to do is dimension our rectangle. Our window is 40 millimeters wide, so I'm going to select this line and this line and put the measurement between those two to be 40. Then the total height of our rect window rectangle is 128. So I pick the bottom and I pick the top and I'm going to change that to be 128. However, this is now not in the middle. And what we need to do is ensure that our rectangle is in the correct place. To do that, the rectangle needs to be 20 from the bottom of our work to where the window is. So we select the bottom, the bottom of the rectangle, and change that to be 20. We now just need to measure the distance of the side of our rectangle here to the side of our work. Please note it is this side, not this one. So. There's the side of my acrylic window rectangle, and there's the side of my work, and I wish to change that to be 10. Because we've already dimensioned accurately, this side will also be 10 millimeters. Now I've done that, I'm going to press the green tick to accept. I'm going to hold the right mouse button down and spin my work into 3D. I'm going to go to my menu and choose Extrude. I'm going to pick that rectangle. And this time I'm going to get my arrow and drag it through the opposite direction. However, it's still adding material. 
So I need to choose Remove, which removes the material from our work and click the green tick.